Okay guys, I'm on my second project here for today. We have some ruts that we made in one of the hay fields and I'm gonna take the duels down and close them up. And I'll kind of show you what I'm gonna do here. And then get the 4250 out to rake. And uh, the tether's going across the street, they're tedding it out. And then we wanna get it raked up here. So, go ahead and start this girl up. It's warming up here a little bit. Check the engine oil first and uh, Back it out and go down there and fix those ruts up. There's only four sets of tracks. And uh, this will smooth it right out with the duels. I'll just run over the track between them. And uh, I'll show you how that goes. But let's go ahead and get in here and get this day going. Because there's a lot to do. And very important, and especially to check the engine oils on these machines. This one has the big screw cap here. It's easy to get in here and it's level so okay it's going to take just a little bit of oil so we're going to take that up and put it in make sure everything's nice and clean when you do this kind of stuff these motors are not cheap also another thing is it's bad on engines to overfill them so you want to do exactly what the book says or know what you're doing you need both hands here so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in all right, let's go ahead and start her and back her out. I'm gonna pull it down here and put some air in it. See this old girl go. Yeah, okay, let's back her out. Pull down here and put some air into one tire. hit it one more time a little later but it just pretty much closes the track up and uh, doesn't make too big of a mess but at the end of the week here it's supposed to be dry so we might come back down to smooth it out one more time and it'll be as good as new something I don't like to do is put ruts in the field but it's one of those years we gotta do what we can now I do have a little bit of mud on the back of the tire, so I'll drive down along the edge of the road to here, see if we can lose it in the next field. We'll go down and check the hay anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead down here and check this lower field. Uh, the back field they're tending out right now. So we'll see how that's coming along. These fields tend to get a little wet, especially on a wet year. The duels it helps just kind of float across so we'll jump out here and uh, check this field and then we'll let this sit until the dirt gets dry and then we'll move it again okay we're in this lower field I don't think we need to tet this out you hear that pretty decent so all I'm gonna do is come down here and rake it quick. Uh, go back over and get the 4250 to the rake. And we'll rake this stuff up. 
there's a little bit heavy spots every once in a while but I think with the rake flipping it over it's not bad at all I don't know if you can hear that quite nice and there's a field back over there that's the one he's tetting out and uh, we got about I think there's like 10 or 15 acres back here roughly and need to be mowed yet so they're coming here this afternoon with the triple mower again it was too wet the other day so all right let's go ahead and rake this up and get it dry so using the 8320 to take ruts out and uh, did a very good job like I said, I'll go down and hit it a little later in the week here again, and it should be pretty smooth. A little mud on the tires, but that won't hurt it. It's a little soft here, but not bad. I'm not tracking that much mud. A little more water back in here. We'll get out of here and uh, set this here on the grass up on the hill. And you see a little bit of mud. Okay, we're gonna let the 83 sit here and then uh, as the air dries the dirt on the mud on the tires, we go to move it, it'll pop it off and it won't be in the driveway. So we're done with that for now. Go across here, get the uh, 4250, hook it to the H&S 12 wheel rake, rake that up, get some air underneath it and then uh, watch it dry off. It's just another way we do things around the farm here. Might not be the right way, but it works for me and that's what all matters. So, we'll get the rest of the day going on and uh, see what we'll get ourselves into. There's one thing I want to clarify quick. We do not have employees here. It's just me and my son and my wife and the other son. They help feed these calves, take care of them. This whole pen here was just weaned. They're all chewing their cud. And they're really quiet. But that one so and they're laid out and relaxed and that's what I like to see we do go through a lot of grain and we'll slowly change the ration into the other mix but it will take about a week we do it a real slow process which I'll show you here again here we got our first uh, mix but our end goal is to get them on this special beef uh, mix right there and corn silage. Everybody seems like they're doing well. When you see them chewing their cud and uh, laying there, not balling, they're satisfied. All right, I had to show you that, but no, no employees on the farm. And uh, we work hard, and that's the way we have to do it to make things go. So we brought some calves in here. We have a newborns out in the pasture, and it's a constantly walk around taking care of our operation. Uh, my son, he's uh, nine years old, and uh, he does an excellent job, and and he does just what he can do, and that's and the rest is done by me or my wife. She'll help out here a little bit there, and we know just fill troughs up, whatever she can do. But again, we had a newborn son, so she's pretty much taking care of him. So they'll need bedding egg here again uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll get that done. The ones that with collars on are just the ones that came down from the hoop house. I like to keep track of them a little bit before we pull the collars, but they're doing well. They six weeks old, one bottle a day for three days. Twenty eight is just chewing his cud right to town. So he just uh, it's amazing how the transition from this up there to here how well they do. So. All right, get back on track here again, they always say. Here on the left is some of the bales we baled the other day. It's not the nicest stuff, but it's it's young looking. But then again, it'll make excellent cattle feed. There's acid on it. Now we did go ahead and check the engine on this. And everybody likes the 50 series when they start when it's cold. We'll watch her give a little cackle here this morning it's not that cold but they like to they like to make a little noise which is fine by me
All right, guys, this is the end of this video. It's long enough. Next one, we'll be out raking with the 4250. If you guys would do me a favor, go over and uh, check out Gerald Farms. Uh, he's down in uh, South Carolina, I believe. He has a nice channel. He's just starting up. Give him some support. That'd be well appreciated. And uh, let's see if we can get him up to 500 subscribers here real quick. And uh, it doesn't hurt. I mean, just go check out these other channels. I'd enjoy it. Uh, they were making round bales and they were making them at 72 inches in diameter. Nice big, big uh, round bales. And uh, yeah, just give them a go over and give some support. I'm sure he'll leave a comment. I'll pin it, put it to the top. Just click on it, go over there, give him some support. All right, guys, have a great morning.